Today I'm at the Kaima Farm in Betsite, near Jerusalem in Israel. I'm surrounded by a farm that tells a story, a story about the types of innovations that are needed to feed the future of our planet. In many ways, agriculture got its start right here in the Fertile Crescent that stretches from Israel throughout the Middle East. But despite those fertile agricultural grounds, even in ancient times, water was a precious commodity. Ancient inventors needed to create new ways to capture water through dams and walls to funnel them onto the crops where that water was needed. In 1959, right in this area, a game-changing technology emerged. A man named Simca Blas and his son invented what's called drip irrigation. With the help of tubes, little droplets of water would deposit on the roots of the plants themselves. No longer did farmers have to spray or flood an entire field. They created, with the help of a kibbutz, a new firm, a firm called Netafim. And in the 1960s, when a drought spread across Israel, the use of drip irrigation exploded. Today, drip irrigation plays an important role, not only in Israel, but literally around the world. As we look to the second quarter of the 21st century, the world has more people to feed than ever before. And yet climate change is creating new challenges, challenges that will require that we get the most out of literally every drop of water. That's where the spirit of invention needs to continue to inspire us to take not only the technologies that were built here, but new technologies that lie ahead. We can draw on these lessons and innovate for a better future.